Definitely breakfast and I'm having tea, grapes and banana and peanut butter milkshake. Max. outside so she eats my plants and then all my plants are gnawed at the end. See? Swear to God I'm gonna put her out. I'm gonna rent her home <laughs> is chocolate I have to say at the moment and I don't eat any dairy products so I go to great lengths to try and you know get my chocolate fix and I mostly use raw cacao powder and I'll put it into recipes and I'll hunt down sugar-free and dairy-free chocolate and drink hot chocolate. The food I can't live without is avocados. You can also put chocolate in avocados and add agave and it's a pudding. <laughs> But the food I can't live without is absolutely 100% avocado. You know, the world over, I have to find avocados wherever I'm travelling to, wherever I'm at home. And I'll eat them cut in half with just sea salt on them, I'll put them in a recipe, I'll make guacamole, on toast, you name it. It's all about avocados for me. Brownies or cookies? Definitely both. <laughs> if I had to choose one, I think brownies. Yeah. At the moment, definitely brownies, chocolate brownies with walnuts. So now I'm going to pop out and buy some cat food. Little dog. Okie dokie. Chicken and rice. They like that one. And it's reduced to 7 99 because they're Guyanese cats, I know they like the chicken and the rice. One expensive one, good quality nutrition, and one, one better than whiskers. Favourite restaurant is in King's Cross, in London and it's called Caravan and they do the most delicious food really really good food um, it's not all vegan it's like all different stuff it's kind of like a tasting menu and they also do pizza but they're really good at accommodating if you don't eat any animal product products and the food is just delicious my worst restaurant experience recently actually I was invited on this girls night out and it was a uh, Middle Eastern restaurant, it wasn't Moroccan because their moussaka was not the moussaka that is most commonly known. It was in Maida Vale and I ordered the moussaka and it was courgette with a few cubes of aubergine, like this sort of watery liquidy stuff and they just served up this dish water with um, vegetables in it and it didn't even have any good spices, any good flavour, it was just, it was just poor. And it was £11. I just sent it back and I don't know, oh, you're going to have to pay for it. You know, if some of the friends around the table had not met me for the first time, trust me, I wouldn't have paid for that. I would not have paid that £11 because it was just, it was just a rip-off, basically. So some restaurants you go to, their vegan or vegetarian options are kind of like an afterthought and they're just sort of, you know, it doesn't matter about the people who don't eat meat. And that was a prime example of that. Luckily, I can't remember the name of the restaurant, otherwise I would name and shame. And I ended up spending all that money and not enjoying it at all. They had decent baba ganoush and they warmed the pizza bread, but generally not good. And also the staff were really rude. I walked in, <laughs> this was not meant to turn into a rant, but it was so horrible. I walked in and I was the first one of the party to arrive. And they were looking at me like, the woman was looking at me like, can I help you? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, McDonald's is down the road, love. Yeah, anyway, I did stay against my better judgement. I didn't stay for the food, I stayed for the company and the friends and that side of it. The 
city that's had the best food I've ever had um, was in New Zealand. Like every restaurant we went into, it was really, really good food. Everyone we went into was kind of like, it was just like the norm for a restaurant to be amazing in New Zealand. A town, Malindi, in the south coast of Kenya. Because it was mango season, my son and myself spent Christmas there a few years ago and it was mango season and we ate so many mangoes it was ridiculous it was just mango Christmas day mango boxing day on safari mango 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 so um, in terms of the fruit on that occasion definitely Melindy. Do I like spicy foods? Yes I do. <laughs> I have Guyanese parentage yes I do. Africa is in my blood yes I do. Um, and I made a really nice spicy um, sweet potato curry on Saturday. I really fancy something, you know, something like that. I need a scotch bonnet in it. Final question in the car. Is there a food you've always wanted to try? Yes. Two things actually. Mango steam. And they do sell them here in London, even though they're expensive. So I should just try them and get over myself next time I see them. I should do that and I shall film it. And also, I'm not sure of the pronunciation, I think it's Napoles, but it's cactus, and I would like to try the cactus festival. Yes. One food that I fail at making is roti. I mix the dough and I only have a frying pan, I don't have a griddle to do it on. And it's always a little bit too flaky but practice makes perfect, I shall keep trying. My mum makes the most amazing roti, they're all fluffy and delicious and homely and, oh, I think I need to give her a call. Three ingredients I can't live without. Sea salt, cumin, because I like my food seasoned, and avocado. My favorite food movie is a movie called Chef, which I watched like quite recently, like a couple of months ago, and it's brilliant and they really shot the kitchen scenes really authentically, which often really falls down. Rare, medium or well done? Definitely raw. Seafood? No. Vegans don't eat animal products of any kind. So that will be enough. And that's the end of the video. So that's what's up. Thank you for watching. I've actually had to pull myself out of a funk to make this video and it's kind of helped my day so thank you for watching please give the video a thumbs up and give a big thumbs up for life because sometimes life has to pull you into being and um, when you go with it it makes a difference share the video subscribe if you're new here and welcome to the fruit fam and I'll see you next time and don't forget to keep reaching for those good feelings